I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to solve simultaneous equations involving logarithms. Solve the simultaneous equations log to the base a of x plus y equals to 0 and 2 log to the base a of x equals to log to the base a of 1 plus 4y. So let's begin by writing these equations. These are log to the base a of x plus y equals to 0 and we have log two times log to the base a of x equals to log to the base a of 1 plus 4 y. Now if you solve this equation we get x plus y equals to a to the power of 0 that means x plus y is equals to 1 right. On the other hand if we solve the second equation we could write this as x square is equals to 1 plus 4y, right? So 2 goes there. Both are log to the base a. So their arguments should be same, right? Now we have two different equations in variables x and y. Using these equations, we can always solve for x and y. So I think it would be a good practice to write y in terms of x here will substitute that in the second equation. So we have y equals to 1 minus x. So let us substitute this value of y in this equation. Right? Then what do we get? We get x square equals to 1 plus 4 times 1 minus x. Or let's expand this 1 plus 4x. I mean 1 plus 4 minus 4x. Now let's bring these terms to one side. We have x square minus 4x becomes plus, I mean, plus 4x minus 4 plus 1 is 5, right? So we'll bring this also here. So minus 5 equals to 0. So we get a quadratic equation x square plus 4x minus 5, right? Now you can factor this equation, product we need negative 5, sum as plus 4. So we could write this as x plus 5 times x minus 1. Right? That will give us product of minus 5 and sum of plus 4. Right? So equals to 0. Now this equation is true for x equals to minus 5 or for x equals to 1. Right, so these are the two possible solutions for our equation. Now, let us see, uh, can x be minus 5? Well, if you analyze this equation, then we know x is greater than 0, right? So this is not valid. But that seems to be okay, right? So if I write x equals to 1, what do I get for y? So if I substitute x equals to 1, then this implies that y is equals to 1 minus 1, that is 0. So therefore, we get our answer and the solution is x is equals to 1 and y equals to 0. So whenever you get a solution in quadratic equations, you should also test it out. So if I substitute x as 1, y as 0, so log of 1 will be 0, that is correct. Here also, it will be 1 and this is 0 so this is 1 so that also works right so we have a solution which is x is equals to minus 1 uh, x equals to 1 and y equals to 0 right